Football is one of the world's most popular sports. Every major event brings thousands of fans to the stadiums and millions of viewers in front of their TVs. Who knows, maybe there's alien life that also play football. Maybe it's an extremely popular game on other planets too. Today's episode will be very special, since we're going to talk about football in space. In fact, on the moon to be more precise. In this video, we're going to try and answer the question, why didn't NASA let Neil Armstrong take a football to the moon? Keep watching to find out. July the 20th, 1969 is a fundamental date in the history of space exploration. On this day, the crew composed of Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin and Michael Collins had managed to land on the moon. This was a huge highlight in human history. The moon landing has been a legendary event that has had an impact on the future of the world. As we know, it was one small step for man and one giant leap for mankind. Right now, you're probably wondering what a football has to do with any of this. Well, the most famous crew member, Neil Armstrong, wanted to take a football to the moon. However, NASA didn't allow him to. The official reason has never actually been published. But we're going to try and solve this mystery. Playing a football match on the moon would present some major challenges. First of all, the gravity is significantly lower than on Earth. It's approximately six times weaker than on our planet. This means that a 60 meter pass on Earth could extend to 360 meters on the moon. Additionally, the ball would fly much higher and slower, so the pass would take much more time, meaning that the pitch would have to be a few times bigger than the football pitch that we know and love. Moreover, similarly to the ball, the players also wouldn't be able to move as fast as we're used to, and would spend more time floating above the ground than on it. This could cause world-class dribblers like Cristiano Ronaldo or Lionel Messi to lose a lot of their advantage. All the usual tricks involving feints and body balance would become much more difficult or straight up impossible. Another interesting addition would be the moon dust. This could actually either help or hinder the players. Extremely dense concentrations could act as walls, which you could bounce the ball off. The thinner ones would cause the passes and shots to lose energy and slow down. Another obvious issue is the lack of atmosphere. Without air and oxygen, the players wouldn't be able to breathe. First of all, the air is necessary to survive, let alone play football. Second of all, it's required to conduct sound, meaning that the players wouldn't even be able to hear the referee's whistle. Currently, football on the moon wouldn't make much sense at all, mainly due to the reasons we talked about. However, who knows what the future may bring? Maybe at some point we're going to have a moon colony, and it will host some extremely popular football tournaments. We may even live to see the first football games and maybe even whole leagues being played out on our own natural satellite. So that concludes today's video, and remember, we're inviting all football fans to join the free browser game footballteamgame.com. Simply follow the link in the description. That's it for today, thanks for your time and we'll see you later.